guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Steph K. I'm all about lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. So as you've seen on the title, today I'm going to be starting my series of Lululemon versus Aritzia. So essentially this series is going to be me dissecting both brands on different objects. So for today, it's going to be leggings versus leggings. And I'm going to be telling you which one is worth it and which one is not. So, without further ado, let's jump in the video right before. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's jump in. So, before jumping in into the review and the video, let's talk about both brands. So, I could have done this with any given brands, but we both know that when it comes to leggings and at leisure and loungewear-ish, that Lululemon always comes close to Aritzia. And, I'm telling myself that there's a lot of girls like me who are in between Aritzia and Lululemon and on the fence for certain things. So you know what? You're welcome. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> no, seriously. So, let's jump in the video. Let's go. But now I got on the Lululemon Aligned Leggings in 28 inch. The color is navy. I will have the link listed below. Uh, so you guys, if you're interested in legging, you can get it. And I'm also going to put a video right here or right here of me trying it so you guys can fully see what it looks like. Honestly, you guys know on this channel that I'm an Aritzia girl, Aritzia everything, Aritzia me baby. And you must be asking yourself like, girl, what got you on the other side? <gasps> what are you doing over there? And I have to tell you the truth. So what happened was, um, okay, so for the first leggings that I wanted to, like, because I, I used to buy a bunch of leggings from different brands, but it wasn't as I am, so I would ended up having to buy new ones, you know, after three months or six months, and I got tired, and I said, you know what, might as well invest in good leggings, it's going to last me long, like two to three years or more, you know, and it'll be better. I was tired of always having to like, I want to wear something that, you know, it's, it's, it's not there or it's, it's ripped. I was tired. So since I started being obsessed with Aritzia, I said, why not? Let me buy Aritzia. So the first thing that happened was I needed black leggings for like everyday wear, right? Because black goes with everything. So I went with the TNA Life leggings from Aritzia. Now, actually no lies, 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 lies. I went with the TNA Butter leggings from Aritzia. So, I bought the leggings, went on vacation for like a week. Mind you, I'm on vacation, the legging starts peeling off after one wash and one week. So I reached out to the Aritzia uh, concierge. They were apologizing, they are really nice about it. Uh, they told me to go back in store, they offered me a new one, mentioned that it might have been uh, one from the defect batch and all and all and all we exchange. Fine. So for the black ones, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I went with the TNA Butter and not the TNA Life one because the Aritzia leggings in TNA Life are black, in, in the color black, sorry. They tend to take all the dust. And then I don't like the look. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but it's, it's as if like you have like cat or dog's um, hair on you and I, I really, ugh, I can't stand it. So then, one of the girls that worked there told me, yeah, it's because of how it's made. For black, if you want it to be like, you know, like that, how smooth it looks like and, you know, as if nothing gets on it, go with the butter one. So I said, okay. And I liked it because it was softer. It was like, you know, it was tight and all. I said, okay, fine. I went with it. Anyways, let's go back to, to now. So yeah, I did the exchange. The legging were good. I had them for over like a year. Not even a year. Tell me why there were holes in my leggings. Like I know I was wearing them every day, but at the same time for the price that you're paying for Lulu, uh, Aritzia, sorry, uh, the leggings are like 70, 68 or 70 bucks plus tax. So you're damn right I'm gonna wear them every day and I expect them to, you know, to last. And mind you, I don't put them in a dryer, so I wash them and I hang them. All my Aritzia Lululemon clothes, I always end them. Actually, most of my clothes, I would say like 95% of my clothes, I always end them. Because me and the dryer, we fought. 
but honestly like just in, just like that just for you guys to know like it's better to hang your clothes and last longer so don't don't worry about it i wash my clothes with cold water and all of that thing and i do it all and i read that i read for the price that you're paying there there's no way that i'm gonna pay for something where once i read the instructions okay so yeah so that's what happened then when i saw that holes happened in my legging and it wasn't even a year i was mad i was like yo i paid for those leggings for like 68 plus tax and it can't even last even a year at least a year you know not even and after i told myself you know what there was too much issues happening anyways with that legging i had to return it this and that so i said you know what let me try another brand that's for the teenage butter doesn't mean that the other leggings are not good but we'll get there throughout the series right so i switched and i went to lululemon now lululemon the first time i went to lululemon was four years ago and when i went and i tried the leggings honestly it was so bad on me that i told myself i will never wear lululemon ever again i was like this is so rude how bad it makes me look and what mind you i have curves so i was like oh it's gonna be you know like it's not gonna be hard i'm not looking to find something that creates me curves like i have curves i just need something to support my curves yo it looks so bad i said never again but then i'm on tiktok and i'm seeing some girls you know with some good curves you know they're they're rocking the track suit or whatever the the bbl jacket you know that i have from maritza there's also one from blue lemon they, you know they all they're having matchy matchy sets there's Aaliyah's face that I like a lot, Kyra too that I like a lot, that they're all rocking it. And I'm trying to look. Lululemon. I said, wait a minute. I'm like, is that the same Lululemon leggings, sets, whatever that I tried four years ago that didn't look good on me? I'm like, there must have been some improvement. So guess what? Your girl ran there. I tried and I was like, sold. So here's the story. That's why we're on the Lululemon side now, for now, or maybe forever, who knows. But yeah, that's the story. Can somebody tell me right in the comment section below if you had the same type of experience, whether it was with Lululemon and you switched to Ritzia and vice versa, just let me know. So, I got the teeny butter leggings on. I'm gonna put a video up there so you guys can fully see what it looks like. So, before we continue, um, get close. Mm. According to my YouTube, 90% of you guys look at my video, you leave comments, you leave thumbs up. That's all good. I'm grateful for that. But you don't subscribe. Why? I mean, you're always back. So might as well subscribe, right? You don't want to miss the next video. You don't want to miss the next video on my Lululemon vs. Ritzia series. So you know what? Subscribe, man. Just do yourself a favor and subscribe. So, oh, back to business. So when it comes to Aritzia, I have a love-hate relationship with the Aritzia leggings. Again, I don't like how it's too loose here. Compared to my Lululemon leggings, so much support. And I feel like this legging lets me down. I could eat a grape and it lets me down. And I don't like that. Women have so much thing to worry about and me looking bloated because I just ate a grape It's clearly not one of them But honestly in terms of feel I like the Aritzia feel better It's really really soft like it feels like you're under like some really soft covers and I really like the feeling um, But clearly because it's like that you could see that it's less resistant in time uh, in terms of washing um, I've had those leggings for two years now. Um, like it's okay, it's not bad, you know. It doesn't look brand new, brand new as a brand new. Sorry, uh, sorry, but I, it's okay, you know. Um, I really, after math and thinking, the Aritzia Teeny Butter leggings are better to get in any other color except for black. Um, I think just for the, you know, if you want a cleaner look when you're wearing your, your leggings, you want to dress it up. I would maybe leave it out of the way for the butter but any other color like you know i'm not complaining it does the job um honestly it's just again like i said it's not it doesn't give as much support 
as the Lululemon one, but if you're someone that is like top shape and you have a six pack, you probably don't care about what I just mentioned. But uh, listen, uh, some of us don't have time and some days, you know, you're more bloated than others. And if that's something that is, you know, really bothering you, I wouldn't, you know, suggest you going with the teeny butter one. Um, yeah. Now, in terms of long term, I think you guys are kind of getting where I'm getting. I would definitely go with the blue lemon one. Now, you might say, oh, it's not fair. You haven't had them for a year, but I already know that they're going to last. And if they don't, I will do a video one year from now, and I will show you, you know, how my leggings are. I'm going to give you an update if you want, but you can already see by the quality, like, that it's going to last longer. Now, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys agree with me that, you know, the teeny... Uh, butter line from Maritia is not as supportive or so or actually let me let me know down below because I'm talking about little women in Maritia but let me know down below if there's any other brands that you know out there that do good leggings for everyday loungewear or even for you know just for training or stuff like that just let me know so guys that concludes today's video again thank you so much for joining and watching till the end on next video we're gonna be doing a Ritza versus Lululemon jacket war. We're gonna see which one has the best BBL jacket. So you don't wanna miss that. So again, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.